Hey everyone, today I'm Lauren Zino. We're taking a look at the number 97 coal elevator. 97 coal elevator was introduced in 1938 and produced until 1950, you know, barring the gap in the middle for the war. So it was carried, it's a pre-war accessory carried over to the post-war era. Uh, there was one variation in it. Uh, right before the war, the superstructure was painted gray instead of silver due to material restrictions before all the production stopped. And there was also a couple other derivatives from this. There was a manual crank version that would have a crank down there instead of the motorized belt. I'll show you how everything works here shortly. There was also one without the conveyor itself, just the tower and something like the solenoid to drop the call out. So this is a really cool accessory. I picked this up many months ago at Teak Mall for $24, which once I saw that and the price, I had to grab right away. Of course, didn't do a lot of research at the time. Uh, mine was missing the bin back here for the coal dump. So I sourced that, which ended up costing just about as much as I paid for the elevator. I think actually a dollar more. I think it was about 25, but all the other 50, it's still a very cool accessory. I do not have the original controller for it, unfortunately. Uh, the controller would come with, I think is a 97C. It looks like your UCS controller here, but the left button would be a on off rotary switch here. So instead, I just substitute a switch controller where I can press one way to lift the bin and other way to dump the coal. So we'll move the camera and we'll get a little more detailed look of how this accessory works. All right, so we're free handing the camera right now because I kind of want to talk about the various parts before I get it moving. It is a very loud accessory just because of the nature of how it works. So we'll come down here, it starts at the coal dump bin. It'll dump your car in, which we'll do shortly, into this uh, plastic bin here. Once you activate uh, first the on-off switch, what will be on the controller, it'll activate this solenoid back here, or this actually it's a magnet drum, which will pull that lever in, dumping the bin backwards to tilt the coal in. It's funneled in towards the conveyor. At the same time, this conveyor will turn on. There is a motor locomotive located underneath here. Same, basically the same motor block you'll see in a lot of the locomotives from the era. And that'll go uh, through a pulley system here. Starts the conveyor belt. Your conveyors will go up. And then finally it'll dump into the hopper up here. I can get the Flash slide turned on. Dumps into the hopper at the bottom. There's a chute gate. We'll go underneath, see it a little bit better before it operates. So a solenoid, you press that button on the, on the controller, activates the solenoid, opens up the gate, and your coal will shoot out into the hopper. So we'll set the camera down somewhere proper and we'll start showing it in operation. So first things first, we'll dump our coal into there. You can use any coal dumping car from the pre-war ones, post-war. This one was introduced in the NPC era. It's, it's a more modern version. It's a little bit, it's just as wide as the bin, so it will make a little bit of a mess when you dump it. But regardless, it still works. So we'll go ahead and dump this in.
Right, now that we're all loaded, we can go ahead and roll it out. So a little bit in before we finish up the video here. Uh, if you buy any of the modern cold dump cars like this one here or some of the post war reissues they've done recently, or if you're looking for coal for your cold dump car, you generally get recommended one of these. They sell these little separate sale and also included cars like this, little bags full of coal. There'll be a sealed plastic bag inside. And the problem with that is nowadays it comes with this really, if I can get it to focus here, hang on. Almost had it. Come on. Come on. That's probably as best I can get it, but it's a very, very fine call. Let me grab the bag of it. Usually it comes also like that. This car specifically came with this bag here. It's very realistic looking horse now it focuses and very fine. And quite frankly, for any of these cars, which are very hit or miss operation, when it makes a mess, it's hard to clean up. On this layout, I've had to get the vacuum out, which I normally vacuum it anyways, but it ends up all going away, so it gets stuck caught up in the fibers, especially if you're doing this on carpet and make a mess. And I thought that was kind of strange, too, because I remember as a kid, you know, having some of these, the cola came with back then was much chunkier, bigger plastic chunks, and way easier to clean up, and I can't believe they, especially with little kid sets, you know, kids are going to make a mess out of the stuff, they give you that really fine sort of stuff. I mean, it's just going to get all wasted in the carpet. So Lionel also will sell separate sale this, which is the 168.89 uh, Rotary Cold Upper Pack, which this is designed for, uh, they make a scale uh, Beth Gone Rotary really Coal Dump Gondola, along with the dumper here. And this is designed to fill one of those cars. So inside this box, say bag, and this bag normally fills the exact volume of this box. I mean, it's hard to get out when you first get it, but if you look at it, it's much different. It's big, hold on, put a bin over here. It's big plastic chunks, they're lightweight, they're easy to clean up. You can pull them out of, they won't stick in the carpet or anything. I mean, they're huge chunks. And this is what I remember as a kid coming with the sets, and I think this is what they should really be including. And this box here costs maybe I think about the same or a couple dollars more than, you know, buying the little separate sale bag of scale size coal. And I've only used, as you can see, there's still tons in here. I've used, you know, there's this full here, plus there's more still in the coal elevator we showed. So you get a lot more and it's much easier to deal with. I mean, if you would like the scale size coal, go for it. But I mean, if you're going to be using it and these things always make a mess. It's not a, it's not a science trying to make these things dump into each other. There's always going to be coal shooting everywhere and... It makes it so much easier to clean up around here. One of the concerns I did have is it was going to fit in the little buckets of the elevator, but no, it actually works just fine too. So I can't imagine anything else causing problems. It's worked fine in every coal dump car. I don't have any of the other coal loading accessories quite yet, but I mean, all of them are generally wider uh, surface areas where that has little shoots, but no, no issues at all with it. So I definitely recommend if you're going to be playing with coal stuff, just buy a box of the Rotary Cold Dump Coal instead. It's much nicer to use. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching.